everybody, Eric here, and I thought I'd make a quick video on Shaker cabinet doors today. So, uh, on the right here, we've got the Creekside door, and you've got the Whistler door right behind it. So the Creekside is a two and a quarter inch frame, and the Whistler is two and three quarter inch frame. Now, I consider these to be traditional Shaker doors. So how that's built is you have a three quarter thick frame. So this height here is three quarter thick, and then we route out the groove here and you have an insert that slides into the middle. Now you can have different material thickness and well, different material altogether for the center panel as well as the frame. But uh, suffice to say the point is uh, you have some sort of frame that the center panel slides into. That's what I call a traditional. Now let's take a look at these two doors over here on the left. So uh, you've got the Cologne door and you've got the Hereford. So uh, you've got a three quarter inch wide frame and you have a quarter inch frame here so that's the difference in uh, width and then how this is built is you've got three quarter thick material uh, if you're doing a wood stain you have a veneer like that uh, you have a veneer and then you just have it glued down and uh, above that you would have a applied uh, molding be it three quarter or quarter inch whatever thickness you have or whatever width you have uh, and that would depend on the manufacturer that you're working with. Um, if you're doing paint rather than a wood stain, then you wouldn't have the veneer there. Uh, it would just be an MDF or a HDF. Um, so that would be medium fiberboard, uh, medium density fiberboard and high density fiberboard. Compare that to a particle board. So um, a lot of folks get those mixed up. Uh, I like to point out the difference because Particle board is going to be a lot more coarse and there's a lot more pores there. For cabinet making, for door making, uh, I like to stick with MDF or HDF just because I don't have to worry about the uh, uneven surface when you paint so the uh, the substrate, if you will, wouldn't be showing through. So you don't get any um, what I call orange peel effect. Um, but that said, for the cabinet box on the side or in the cabinet back, like, you know, places that you're not really going to see anyway, the cabinet boxes are still, um, I'm still fine with if you're using particle board or plywood, whichever. But for the cabinet doors, the front facing part, uh, I will stick with um, MDF or HDF. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.